there's this belief in our society that security is some natural state and the goal is to be totally secure. This is a new phenomenon. You, know, you go back 50 years or even uh, more recently, people realized that life itself is risk. There is no such thing as total security. There is no such thing as risk-free. So no, the goal on airplanes can never be total security. That's ridiculous. It can't happen, and getting anywhere near there is prohibitively expensive. Now, I remember in the months after September 11th, a reporter asking me in an interview, how can we prevent this from ever happening again? And I said, well, that's easy. Just ground all the aircraft. Right? I mean, that's an extreme trade-off. We'd never do it. Yes, it would make us safer, but the quality of life we'd experience would be too great a trade-off. When you look at security, you have to look at not only the benefits, but the costs. So it's not enough to say that this thing will make us more secure. The question is, what are we giving up to get it? An example might be a bulletproof vest. I mean, they work great at stopping bullets, but none of us wear them. It's because that for us living in Western society, the cost in, in money, in convenience, and loss of fashion sense isn't worth the benefit. So similarly, every other thing has to be looked at that way in terms of costs and benefits.